May the Lord God bless you for this blessed Sunday. We're going to read in the book of this uh, book of 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 3. I think it would be better for us to read it uh, completely. I think uh, completely it will be better because it's so deep. Yourself, you can take your Bible as we want to read so we can read it together. So we understand because this is a live, it's a video, you have a time to uh, to reverse, uh, to, to forward it, everything depends on you. So we're gonna read it quickly because we are talking about the rapture, remember? So last Sunday we said uh, the people are in slavery of this time of a new Babylonian, but we're gonna show you the new Babylonian in this Bible next Sunday. But let us first read this so most of the people they can understand the age we are living is the darkness age. You understand on the on those seventh church age as the prophets presented them to us you can understand we have seventh of this i will put the pyramid of christ the pyramid of the lord i will put it there so you guys you can understand that in english you see so in this seventh age of Laodicean, we did understand it is the bad age. It is the time we are living. You see, the people compromise and in everything. So few people they still understand all all the things the way it happen. So only few people are looking the perfect will of God. The rest they say are. Ah. But the human being, as God created us with all spiritual energy, God put in us in us in how up this position if you use your energy with this the energy of this word his word it will put you in touch with him that will help you to find out a good position in christ remember the people who are going to the fifth dimension there those one they said we went we go here we are here because we did our covenant with devil we sell our souls to the devil you see because of what because of we need popularity we need to be rich we need this 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 they used their energy that that god gives to them so they put it in the disposition of devil devil also gave them what they can be able to control this world to control the human being like them you understand but you you don't want to take that the position. You say you are a son and daughter of God. Which position are you taking? While you don't want to use your energy to take, to give time to stand on God's word, to remain a long time to listen to what I can say. Someone preaching like one hour, 30 minutes, 45 hour, 40 hour, 25 hour. What I can say. 40 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 25 minutes, two hours, one hour. That the, the person who can interpret correctly the scripture, not those ones they are coming with the influence of this dimension. And when they came here in this world, they control your spirit completely because they are not coming alone. They are coming with many spirits that are following him because the devil put many spirits on their service. Do you understand? Because they did the government. As long as they did that government, the Lord will put the angel, what I can say, the devil will put his uh, uh, false angel on their disposition. And when they came, they are controlling you and they are taking your energy and you are under their control. Do you see? But let us read for us to understand we are not living the time we are blended. Because those ones, they're still blended. They, 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 it means you still blended by your own will. You see? But the Lord gave you this brain for you to analyze everything. The Lord gave you this brain for you to control, to observe, and to take decision. If I can, will remain, or I must take a good position, that it will help me to get in the marriage with the Lord Jesus Christ as a bride of jesus christ but the people just take the name of the lord like something can 
uh, protect them. No, that it means like it's the same thing to go into the Sangoma's house. You see, you need a protection. You can go and take a protection. But the protection of God came for this powerful energy. This powerful energy came from where? Came from His word. This word created heaven and earth. There is nothing else. And that spiritual energy, when you stand there listening a long sermon, a long, you take, you give your time to listen the word of God for a good time you'll see that it will change you how it will change you because the power is inside of this word this power created heaven and earth that came from god himself a tribute of god when spoken for the first time the spoken word that spoken word brought life to the human being those fails that we just come to say recently remember the, since that day Man felt he died. But the Lord came. You see? What the Lord came to do? He came. He fought the death. He fought the, the grave. And all the power of Satan was remained to the people. They remember last Sunday we read the book of Matthew chapter 27. We started from verse 40. When Jesus was dying in the cross. When, what I can say, shouted. Hold the saints from Adam to John the Baptist. Rose and appear in the holy city, Jerusalem. And the people recognized them because they did have this body. They did have their flesh. Why they appear with the body? The people cannot recognize them because their body was Listening the word of God, the remain in the perfect will of God revealed on the time they were living. But with us, we reject the revelation of the time. We took many different doctrines that came with uh, Nicholas. Do you understand? Let us read the scripture quickly so we will continue on it so you can have a good time to understand why. We want you to take a position not in one denomination on one doctrine of one such such church, but you want to take position in Christ because it's the only one paid the price to save you. So by him, the word as said, I'm the salvation, I'm the way, I'm the light. So from him, you can take that powerful energy can change you so you can took the image you lost by the way of coming in this world to understand by the sex. That was not the perfect will of God. But God came in flesh by his son as a lamb. Jesus came as a lamb of God to pay the price and we see the life he came manifested. He said, my life must be your life. You see, you just need to find a miracle. No, to take just time to analyze yourself. Because if you are not honest in yourself, God will be unable to help you. But if you are honest in yourself, it's that moment God can be able, able to help you. You see, so you will receive the energy of creation. The spoken word that we brought to you this evening. The only things can change you. The revelation of time. The spoken word has been manifested by the angel sent by the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he did have seven stars. We just come to read here in French in the book of Joel chapter 38 from verse 1 to verse 7. You see, the Bible says when God was created, heaven and earth, the Son of God, the stars was singing. They was shout, singing, Hosanna, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Amen. When God was created. So if you was there, you were to find that spoken word will brought you back in the beginning, before the foundation of this world, where you'll find your image. That image is the spiritually body. 
that's built by the world is the theophany because we go away of our theophany on the way we born in this world that's why Christ Christ came and paid the price for us to find that way so we can go to the true the right way to get inside to dwell and to build one body with him you see the reason why the blood came out and the life was inside of his blood, which is the Holy Spirit, came to us to transform us so we can look alike to him. Not look alike of picture, but look alike from the soul, spirit, and this body. That's why in that day of resurrection, they appear on holy city. And the people recognize them with the body because the body was receiving the word of God. So with the civilization of today, the people don't want to give time to listen to the word of God. The people don't want to give their time to read the Bible. We are controlling one another. Say, ah, we, we can say, ah, this one also, what you can tell me? No, we fell many ways but we are fighting to stand with this word and to work on it and to testimony that because we saved by him in him only not nothing else you can fail yesterday but stand up today and work with the lord to understand don't remain in that position you kill yourself because your time the lord give you gave to you is precious you see those one that passed away it's finished for them. How does they doesn't have a place to go? That's why they're appearing. Sometimes other places. You can see someone being killed by accident. Sometimes the people can see one person on the same place. We can see some uh, the same thing happen again on the same place. The key, the, 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 the what I can say, the car. Uh, took again someone on the same place on the same time it means that person being killed there doesn't have a place to go but if you die in christ the first death is you gave your life to him your repentance your repentance you confess your sin you say lord from today you can fail but that decision you took it will help you every day to remain in christ and walk with him do you understand what we, what we came to tell you this, uh, uh, this Sunday service? It's so precious, this word. We cannot go left and right. We must walk with it. It's the only way it can help us to get a good position of rapture. Because you must have a ticket of plane will took you from Cape Town to Johannesburg. You must have have a ticket that will take you from Durban to Kimberley. Do you understand? You must have a ticket that will take you from Johannesburg to Lagos. From Lagos to Kinshasa. From Kinshasa to Paris. To, from Paris to Mauritius. If you doesn't have that ticket, how you can be able to get in the title? They're going to be a flood. They're going to flood you. You understand? And today we have many company, company of securities. Yeah? So they will offload you. They will call the police. That guy, uh, 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 he wants to get in inside of the, without nothing. He doesn't have even a passport. He doesn't have any document with him. You see? But the document we have, firstly, is the Bible. And from the Bible, it will going to have a ticket. And so that ticket will have, it will help us. To be allowed board inside of the plane. And that plane is the mystical body of Christ. The only body being took away. The only body went to the rapture is the body of Jesus Christ. Where you be, you must be a member. Is in the mystical body of Christ. Don't think the difficult time you are facing is only you. The saint all all uh, what I can tell uh, in the whole time they did suffer like us too but they remain in God's will they remain in the perfect in the word of God and God provide for them 
then today they are in the richest place. Do you understand? So it's not something just uh, uh, we, you put your name in one book of the church and you become a member of one church so you've been saved. You speak in tongue and you see the miracle so you can say now I've been saved. I, I received the Holy Ghost because I speak in tongue. The tongue of today no, no, that is not the, the right, the right one. That's the, the like the spirit, talking with the devil, talking with the bad spirit. You don't exactly what you're talking because it doesn't help the congregation. You understand? But if we become the real member in mystical body of Christ, there nothing can stop us. We have our ticket and our passport is inside of us, which is, is the living God, God's word created heaven and earth. Do you don't understand? So when we come, the remember here in this mystical body, from there we are, we, 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 we are in rapture. Do you don't understand? When you get in the first steps of the Christ, this first step is justification. You've been justified. It's a justified. It, it means what? It means confess your sin, repent all mistakes you did, wrongs, sins, unity, transgression. When you fail, you see, so you born in Christ. And you start march, marching, marching as we sing that song last Sunday. We are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We are marching up to Zion, the beautiful city of God. You are changing the steps. Then you find here is the sanctification. Sanctification. The second steps of grace. You sanctify yourself. Sanctification is not only to abandon alcohol, cigarette, all of those things, steal or what. No. The only things can sanctify you correctly. The faith came from what you are listening. And what you are listening, it must be the right interpretation of living God's word. But if the interpretation is wrong, even you abandon all of those things like the people were seeing the behind of the pulpit, but nothing changed it's because of what they are not honest in their self, in themselves. Do you understand? So if you sanctify yourself, you'll see the word you are listening to will help you to leave this, to abandon this, to stop that. Do you understand? You will not stop it momentarily, but ever. So you will reach this level. And that level you reach, it's what? The perfection. And the perfection is Christ. You see? It means you become a member in this mystical body. And when you become a member in this mystical body of Christ, it means you already taken away. You see the reason? The reason why we said that last time. You see, they say the bride of Christ is already taken away. Are you ready to be taken away? You see, the people in this time we are living, they are slaves in this Babylonia. It's this new Babylonia of Revelation chapter 17. We'll read it next Sunday. So you will understand what exactly we are talking about here. We are not coming here with our imagination, with our mind, or something we learn somewhere, somewhere, some in a university or one day, a college or somewhere else. No, is the mind of Christ revealed to us in the time we are living? And the only body we just came to beg you here, there you need to be in as a member in that mystical body. Is this body being taken away? The only body went to rapture is the body of Christ, Jesus. The only body went to rapture. Where the real church is this mystical body of Christ. You see, where we are the authentic member. We not depend to someone, not someone is our leader. 
Our leader is the only one who gave his life in cross for us to be saved and receive his spirit came from his blood, which is this message of end time. Do you understand? This word, this Bible revealed. That's why those ones that didn't reveal, receive the revelation of this word, they say, now oh, this word also been written from human beings. They say, no, this word also, uh, the, the Catholic, they are the one who read it because they came with, to colonize us with the Bible. No, they did the same thing the devil did in the beginning. He took the word of God, the Bible, came to, the, to, from, came to Eve, the first church in the beginning. To understand, women in the Bible is church. They came from the first church who Adam, the first Adam was a prophet. What he did, he took the word. God said, the Lord God said, he said, he didn't call that man on and he said, God, he took the God word. Who even created him? But God, when he created him, he knows this one, he will be this. And he will, by him, my sons and daughters will be manifested. Romans chapter 8. Read it completely. You understand what I'm talking about. You understand? So that moment, that moment, Eve listened to the devil with the wrong interpretation. It took them from eternal life. You understand? So when Christ, Christ came today, he paid the price, and his life came out from the blood as he gave the promise, when I shall come as a son of God, not the son of man. Son of man was his first coming, but the second coming, he came as a son of God. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, to do what? To be Emmanuel again? No, Emmanuel is his prophet. But now he came to dwell in us, you see, why God sent the Holy Spirit is for us to become one with him. Because in the beginning, in Genesis chapter 1, we've been created in his image. Do you understand? So when we become a member in this mystical body of Christ, we become one as a man married his or her wife, and they become one. When? He paid Lobola after Lobola. They went there to uh, what, what I can say to, to put everything in order. You see, in front of lawyers, what's what. When they did all of those things and they go to the church, the pastor blessed them. So it's a legally marriage. And this legally marriage in flesh is. The image or the representation of Christ with his bride. The bride of Jesus Christ. That is the time we are living. That's why he could not marry with someone. But he was a man. Why he didn't marry? Because he has a God. He prepared all is the example of Solomon. You see, one man with many women. You understand? What? Women with different sex. It means men and men. They build the, 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 what I can say, the body of Christ with what mind of Christ. And that mind of Christ is the revelation of time because it came down not with the empty hand, but Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to verse 7, he was coming down with a book open, with the open book. That book before it was sealed you understand but daniel prophet talked with gabriel angel said no daniel the things you see keep it secret sealed is for the hand time john the baptist john divine who wrote us the book of revelation by the inspiration of god he wanted to write the angel tells them john don't is not for this it's for the hand time so read the revelation chapter 10 what the scripture says is it in the hand of time when the seventh angel shall come the mystery of god will be revealed 
It means the mind of Christ, the eternal mind, where we must find our name written. You see, without that, you don't have a passport. And when you don't have a passport, how you can buy a ticket to be ready, to be taken away? You see the question? All the questions, the answers are here. The answers are here, nowhere else. If you go to find it somewhere else, you will find the wrong answer. It will kill your soul. You will not be able to find your theophany. And your theophany is attached here in this mystical body of Christ, the sun, nowhere else. You see, all the churches, their roles is to talk to people out to brought them here in this body. You see? The book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. You see? You took out, you brought them here. You took out, you brought them here. That's why we are here for you. We are not here to collect money. We are not here to collect popularity. No. We are here to find the good one. As the prophet was always says, the fish with seven colors. The, the what I can say the the, the 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 dress of Joseph was wearing his father Jacob did for him it was with seven color and Joseph he was is the type of Christ and that type is the third Adam which is the bride of Jesus Christ represented by the seventh angel as we read in the book of Joel chapter thirty eight you see the stars of heaven. The sons and the son of God was singing, the daughter of God was singing in the beginning when God was created heaven and earth. You see the position you, have, you need to take is not church's position because I'm not coming here to take something from you. I'm not asking you to send me something. If you did it, it's for the glory of kingdom. But I never ask, but I want you to be born in this body, in this mystical, to be a member there. That is... If you need a place to, of congregation, we have our assembly, willow assembly in Ecclesia, where we are going to worship the Lord in spirit and the truth. Because this word I'm preaching, I'm preaching you in the spirit and the truth. But if you have eyes upon me, upon such, such servant of God, you lose completely. Have your eyes and your ear in this word we presented to you. If not, you still blended luck. The children of Israel in that time, they could not see the face of Moses. Why? Because they were not able to see his face. He's supposed to put one veil here to hide his face so they cannot see the glory of God because he was always in the presence of God. So that time we are living is not this time because Christ came in flesh and revealed himself to us. It was for us to take his life and to return back in this position we've been before the foundation of this world. Do you understand? Yeah. So let us read the scripture. That's the only way God provides for us to get this way to reach this body who taken away the only body went to the rapture. If we are member there, us also, we are already there. But walking on the streets, driving here, requesting taxis, eating pizza, pap, everything. Let us read the scripture so we will finish. <laughs> May the Lord God bless you. We will read long scriptures here. For the glory of God. Let us read quickly. Second Corinthians chapter 3. We start from verse 1. I think till the end is better to read the scripture. May the Lord God bless you. Amen. Does this sound as if we were again bursting, bursting about ourselves? Could it be that like some other people we need letters of recommendation? To you, to you all from you, you yourself are the letter. Listen carefully. You yourself are the letter that we have written on our heart for everyone. 
to no end read. You see what we came to, to present to you? You see, we didn't present to you something we learned somewhere. Some instruction or something like that came from one den denomination. No. Amen. It's written, not with ink, but with the spirit of living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And not on stone tablet, but on human hearts. We say this because we have, amen, we have confidence in God throughout Christ. There is nothing in us that allows us to claim that we are capable of doing us, uh, doing, amen, this work, amen. The capacity we have comes from God, hallelujah. I love that. It is he who made us capable of serving the new covenant. You see what we're saying, hallelujah. Amen. Which is consists not of, not of a written law, but the law, of, uh, the law, but of the spirit, amen. The written uh, law brings death. The written law brings what? Brings death. Hallelujah. I think you understand. Let's continue. But the Spirit gives life. Amen. The Holy Spirit. The mystical body of Christ. Amen. Seven. The law was carved in the letter on stone tables. A table. A tablet. God's glory appearing when it was given, even throughout the brightness on Moses' face was funding. It amen. Funding. It was so strong that the people of Israel could not keep their eyes fixed on him. Mm. In the law, which is brings death when it, it is in force, comes with such glory. How much greater is the glory that belongs to the activity of the spirit, the system which is brings brings condemnation was glorious. How much more glorious is the activity which is brings salvation? We have say, we have say that because of the far brighter glory. Now I continue. I prefer to read it completely. Sorry, let us read together. It's so sweet. Hallelujah. There is too much life here. There is something can transform us here. Amen. The glory that was a, so bright in the past is gone. For it, there was glory in that which lasted for a while. How much more glory is there in that which is last forever? Twelve. Because we have this hope, we are very bold. We are not like Moses, who had to put a veil over his face so that the people of Israel could not see the brightness fade or disappear. Hallelujah. Let's continue now to do that. There Mind ended, well closed, amen. And to this very day, they minded a covenant with the same veil as they read the books of the whole government. Them, amen. 
them. Hallelujah. Israel. Still. The veil is removed only when a person joined. What? What? Joined what? <laughs> Let us read it again. Amen. It's so sweet. Because we are finishing when we read the scripture. Amen. Let the, the, the name of the Lord be praised. The, love, the, the, the veil is removed only when a person is joined to Christ. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Even today, whenever they read the law of Moses, the veil still covers their minds. But it can be removed as the scripture says about Moses, his veil was removed when he turned to the law. Now, the law in this passage is the Spirit. Hallelujah. And where the Spirit of the Lord is present, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me finish. All of us then, listen that, it's so sweet. Amen. All of us then reflect, reflect, reflect the glory of the Lord with uncovered face and the same glory coming from the Lord was is the Spirit transforms us into His likeness in in an ever greater degree of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see the things we just tells you this morning. Amen. And in this moment, everything will change. You will not be veiled like them, but them is the will of God to be felt for us to find grace. As it's written in the book of 1 Corinthians, you know, Romans chapter 11. If you read Romans chapter 11 from verse 1 until the end, you'll understand what I'm saying here. That God did for them. But God took them away from the tree of life to took us who was not in that tree he put us on the tree by his richest grace. But don't look yourself like you are. No. If not, you will be loosed completely. We will continue it when we will read Apostle Peter next Sunday. May the Lord God bless you. I love you too much. I pray for you. Pray for me. Pray for the sickness. Tell them the doctor can do his job. But the second part is God's creator. The only one can heal completely. You understand? So the energy brought the salvation and to be healed is this living world. May the peace of the Lord, shalom be with you. Pray, control the kid, be careful with the kid. God will judge you because of them. Because the judgment is hitting this world at the moment we are living.